Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm just going to uh, walk down uh, my new build here. It's the Demon 66, Demon 2. I'm just going to talk about some of the, the upgrades I do to the bike. So right here, uh, we'll start at the front here. Of course, I got the Max wood, uh, Maxi uh, Hookworms, which I like to use. Uh, they're a good racing tire. And then I use uh, a mountain bike. 100 millimeter travel uh, lockable front suspension and then I bring it up to the top here and I go with a heavy duty BMX shorty uh, headset and then we follow that with uh, I find it really comfortable these uh, um, pit bike uh, moose racing dirt bike um, handlebars it's a low rise and it's quite comfortable to ride and then I put a speedometer on a bike too as well. I usually just go with a basic Sunding uh, speedometer. I don't want to um, I don't want to have too many features on it. It's just really simple. It tells you, uh, you know, the speed you're running. Say if you're going past the cops or whatever, and uh, you need to know how fast you're going. On the front here, I run a. I just run the standard uh, 160 millimeter disc on the front I know I could go into like the larger 203 a lot of the guys like to use them um, I find these work fine and then I put on uh, a mechanical hydraulic uh, disc brake onto it some guys go full hydraulic I find these work quite well and it's got lots of stopping power I also just uh, add you know a couple touches you know a few anodized like I uh, valve covers you know to make it look a little bit more sharp I do that uh, usually color code all my bikes like that this speedometer also runs off uh, if you look on the front here a magnet that I mount onto my uh, rim and as it speeds around it uh, picks up on the sensor on the side of the on the forks works quite well and then usually on my bikes, I'll do a custom decal, which I design myself and put onto the bike. This one happens to be uh, the theme, uh, the Demon, Demon 2. And then we go on to uh, the, the pedal setup here. Um, I run uh, a three-piece crank set, old style BMX with a 32 tooth chairing, 32 to a 34th four tooth I like to run a good uh, really nice chain like this uh, KMC uh, cool chain they call it uh, it's uh, two-tone black and silver and then the rock bros pedals these are awesome for uh, a nice size for your foot and then we'll go into the back of the bike here uh, I always put these uh, kickstands onto my bike I like to use them because you can start the bike with the kickstand on it run it up and uh, uh, get the bike temperature if you're tuning it a little bit or whatever and then we're going to the back here I got a 203 203 disc on the back and this is my uh, brake design here uh, because these bikes here you can't seem to get uh, a brake mount to mount these 203s on it and these are uh, this is an Angel 2 frame so I came up with this uh, braking mount that I run on all my bikes. And of course, uh, a mechanical hydraulic at the back. I also, I find uh, a lot of guys run the tensioners. They like them. I don't. I always have issues with them. Tensioning, uh, taking on and off my cover. I just find them real pain in the butt. Uh, I just... Uh, Go with your basic, uh, basic um, uh, chain tensioner that comes with the kits. I also want to show you this uh, Pro Series BMX conversion kit for these frames. That comes with a full bearing inside here. Uh, these are amazing uh, setups compared to what comes stock with these bike frames. And then uh, 
we'll go ahead and uh, look at this exhaust that I got on here. I got a, a CR80 uh, expansion chamber uh, that was welded up by my good buddy Mitch Ward with uh, two chain cycles. Uh, he mounted that up for me uh, before he moved back to Nova Scotia. Um, and then we'll talk a bit about the and just a regular CDI. We'll talk about the um, engine now. And what I got going on here is uh, Minarelli Vertical 70cc. This is my own design uh, with a spacer plate onto it. I run uh, the G2 reed mounting block. That's a direct uh, flow right into the cylinder. Uh, this spacer here. Uh, mount bracket that I've made is fully uh, uh, fully completely covering the inside of this so there's no extra vo added volume into my G2 read and then uh, with the Minarelli vertical 70 cc I'm running these uh, uh, 6cc uh, racing heads which are uh, really nice uh, really nice head they've already got the flat design uh, specifically made for the Minarelli vertical uh, piston which is uh, more of a flat top piston compared to uh, the China dolls where they're more curved we'll look around on the other side here uh, also I'm just running a uh, the the CDH uh, I also make I make these intakes uh, for the VM18s. Um, this one I just happen to throw on there is a CDH CDH1 with a, a twin air uh, air cleaner on it. We go around to the other side of the bike here. I'm running one of my uh, clutches on here. Uh, this one happens to be the flame design. And I'm running the 680 pound springs on it. These are my green springs. I happen to like them. Uh, uh, I find them uh, more than enough. Uh, more than enough grab with the, the stock pads in here. And I like to run the stock pads. That's just my preference. And they seem to uh, grab really well. These springs are strong. Uh, they have lots of pressure at almost 700 pounds. And uh, it's uh, a hard, stiff pull on the clutch, but not too hard. And uh, seems to work quite well. So anyways, that's uh, you know, a basic rundown of uh, my builds here. I usually put on a nice soft uh, gel seat because I like, uh, uh, I like a nice, uh, comfortable ride with my braking system too I also go with uh, a Sunding uh, dual braking uh, lever I put these on all my uh, bikes I really like them uh, it's just one pull and uh, you know you're running both your brakes 